Hello. Um, this is just an impromptu vlog because I thought you guys deserve a bit of an update. Um, I haven't really been, well, I actually haven't really recorded any new footage um, since CAC number one. Uh, so, as you can see behind me, I'm um, not in my usual room. Um, I'm actually in the living room and you guys, the camera, are resting on my new digital piano. That's right, I have a new, brand new digital piano. So look what we have here. A brand spanking new digital piano. It's not really a particular brand. PDP 220, it's like a cheapo made in China job. But it's a digital piano and it's like 488 keys, fully weighted. And it's got easy menu thingies. I have an upright piano sound. Or electric piano. Or another electric piano. And vibes. Strings. Organ. One of record functions that I don't really know how to use yet. And what else has it got? It's got a metronome. And it's got a demo. Let's see what this demo does. Demo on the grand piano. This is Arabesque by... I can't remember who is it by. Anyway. That is the new PDP 220. Oh, and it's got a pedal as well, which I haven't plugged in yet. I listened to them more today. That was quite funny. Hello. There's like the Dracula sound. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, For what? The. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call them? Good, good, lucky guess. All right. Woohoo! Digital piano! Yay! And Ella here likes to, uh, she likes to walk on it sometimes. Don't you girl? You like the piano, don't you? Go and play something. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't feel Please. like it. prefers a more avant-garde contemporary sound. Don't you go? <laughs> Silence. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, one of, one of the main reasons I decided to finally get around to buying a digital piano um, is because I'm I've actually just started um, up started doing courses at Goldsmith again. Uh, but this time I'm not just doing the modules, I'm, um, I've actually signed myself up for something called the Certificate in Music Studies, which is basically um, a modular part-time course, uh, which is, you get a certificate at the end, normally it takes about two years to complete, um, and um, it's basically the equivalent of a first year degree in music. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but you know, um, I've decided to kind of, you know, put at least some commitment to improving my music, so hence buying a digital piano. And it's so much better having a piano at home. I mean, <laughs> you're disrupting my vlog! <laughs> at least get Ella. <laughs> Hello! Alright, here's Ella. Say hello to camera. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> so where was I? Um, yeah, I try not to ramble on for too long because I tend to do that. Um, uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I'm 
got a digital piano, I can practice whatever I like at home. I can record more of my playing um, if you guys so wish to hear and see more. But um, yeah, it's going to be pretty full on this, this coming year. Um, I've got two, I'm doing two modules um, this year and it's going to be on Monday and Tuesday nights um, so and I'm actually going to be assessed and be marked and have assignments and stuff like that it's like scary I haven't had to do assignments since ooh, a good six or seven years ago now um, uh, revealing my age a bit so yeah um, uh, what else I have really exciting news actually um, I have my first gig in London um, one of my friends uh, from my jazz improv class last year. You guys may have seen him in some of my previous videos. Um, <coughs> he's the trumpet player and uh, he plays a lot of gigs around London and one of his friends, who's also a muso from Goldsmith, um, she's having a party and... You know, she's got lots of muso friends and there's a stage at the venue. So she's just asked um, yeah, musicians to uh, play at the party and um, Jeff, yeah, w wanted to play uh, and he asked me to accompany. So, yeah, it's just me on piano and Jeff on trumpet, just a duo. Um, so, yeah, I have lots of practice to do <laughs> if I want to kind of sound halfway decent again. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to meet up and rehearse and stuff. So, yeah, but I'm like so excited. Like, it's my first week in London. Yay! <laughs> I'll probably record the thing and I'll upload it if it's not too crap because, yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself. What else is going on? Um, yeah, work's been pretty busy. I, I actually worked overtime this week. Um, yeah, I had to stay late on Thursday night. I had to stay till like 7.30 to finish this project. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. But, you know, I, I still really like where I'm working at the moment. Um, yeah, I've been there like two months now, more than two months, and... A couple of times just gone by so quickly, it's been so busy. Uh, and um, that's why I haven't really been updating my videos very often, because, yeah, this new job's kept me pretty busy, and I've also been sick, I don't know if you can hear, my nose is blocked, <laughs> you know, like that. Um, that's just really annoying, because I got sick um, at the time of the YouTube gathering in London which was like two weeks ago or something was it three weeks um, and then kind of got better a little bit but then not really and now I'm sick again and it's just like I've just been sick for the last two weeks um, that's really crap so uh, I hope I get better soon it's just I guess it doesn't help that I keep going to work and yeah getting stressed and stuff I've also been a little bit stressed about Ella, um, yeah, I found she, um, okay, let's start from the beginning. She pooed on the bed, um, so we took her to the vet to see what was up, and this is the second time she's done this, um, and, she has a, and she had a fever last time, and she has a high fever again, had a high fever again this time, and um, yeah, basically, uh, the vet said they're going to, they need to investigate this further now, because having a fever like this is not normal, um, and... <coughs> So they took some blood um, and came back with test results. They're testing for certain diseases, um, feline leukemia, feline, I think, immunodeficiency, and um, FIP um, or coronavirus. Um, anyway, the results came back and she's cleared off the first two, but she has the coronavirus, uh, which I was really, really upset when I found that out. Um, and. But, you know, I'm feeling a lot better about it now because we went for another checkup and she's not displaying any of the symptoms um, associate, other symptoms associated with FIP, which is basically the, the fatal form of coronavirus. Coronavirus is just like a viral infection in her and um, cats can get better from it. They, their immune system can build up resistance against it and they'll just get better. Uh, but about 5% of cats um, develop something called FIP and basically that's a fatal disease. There's no cure. For it so um, yeah she's looking is looking hopeful for her um, and I'm just yeah trying to yeah just keep her as healthy as possible and just take really good care of her because yeah I want her immune system to be as strong as possible to fight against the disease yeah
anyway. So yeah, that's been stressful. Um, okay, so shall I play you something now? Okay, let's see. Okay. Go! Yay! Yay! Ella the pianist. Yay! Good girl. <laughs> like now. Like, like now, like.
That's the thing, is, uh, yeah, you have a regular camera and regular people, but once you put the two together, people turn. It's like, you'll, you won't be taking videos of him, you'll be taking videos of him. And let's say the real thing. Whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 whatever, quite cheap. Yeah. <laughs>